Okay, another tricky question that can be asked is how do you execute a program without actually reading or writing to a data set? I repeat the question, how do you execute a program without actually reading or writing to a data set? I hope you got the question. I repeat once again, how do you execute a program without actually reading anything from that? or writing to your data sets. There is a program actually there is a uh, input files and output files are there but I don't want I wanted to execute but I don't want to read the data uh, read the data uh, read anything data or write the data to your data sets. So what is the thing that you need to do in a JCL? Right? I know you know the answer of right. So by making a file as a dummy so we do this so when you have a JCL, within the JCL you have a read statements and you have the file names. There what you do is, uh, you just make the file as a dummy, so that's it, so it will not. For example, let me take, this is the file, so where uh, this is expecting some input, okay, let's say input 1, and let's say this is an output, output, okay, yeah, output, okay, so this is trying to write the data out and uh, my program just uh, I don't want to read any data to this uh, program and any write any data to this but actually this program has a logic to read and write so just I wanted to uh, test this is working or not okay so then in that case what you can do is just uh, remove this and make it as dummy that's it so just make it as dummy and if when you execute this so it, it will still work so it makes that uh, nothing no data is there and that will still uh, run it as it is especially when you are trying to debug when there is an issue in the programs right so you make some of the files this is a very simple one that I'm explaining here so but in real time so you might have seen uh, four to five input files or six input files and seven output files so a lot of things while trying to debug you wanted to make some of the files uh, uh, to be not to write any data so just you wanted to bypass those things so in that case what you can do Right, so you, you you just need to make the file as a dummy. That's it, right? So this is the answer you can do, uh, give uh, when the question is asked, how do you execute a program without actually reading or writing to a data set?